Francisco. We're doing. Hi, Opie. We're doing. Hi, guys. Mom's got to film a video, okay? Hi. Mom's got to film a video. Okay. Go lay down. Go on. Go lay down. Please. Oh, you're going to just sit right here. Hi, Dookie. Here, and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. And I just wanted to quickly say... Thank you so much to all of you, all of the new subscribers. I'm super excited. I'm glad that you're here. Um, there is one thing I need you guys to do. If you have subscribed to the channel and you want to be entered to win the giveaway, I need all of you to comment below, either on this video or any of the other videos that say giveaway, and leave me how I can get a hold of you. You don't have to leave me your personal email address. Um, I would hate for your privacy to be invaded. But if I can DM you on either Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, just leave how I can get a hold of you so that when you do win, you are able to collect your prize. I would really feel bad if I wasn't able to get a hold of you and then I had to pick another winner. So please make sure that you're commenting below on how I can get in touch with you. And without further ado, we're going to go ahead and talk about the topic really quickly this morning. All my kids are off to school and so I figured I'm gonna start filming right before I leave for work because then I'm already ready for the day and I can get my thoughts out first thing in the morning and then I can just get it edited and uploaded throughout the day, hopefully. So today I'm gonna talk to you about the pineal gland and how you can go about decalcifying it. I'm gonna do another video on what the pineal gland is and what its importance are. I wanna keep these videos super short and sweet. So here's a quick couple tips on how you can go ahead and decalcify your pineal gland, which will help open your third eye. What I do or I try to do on a daily basis is I take diatomaceous earth. You gotta make sure that it's food grade. I will go ahead and I'll add it into my daily smoothie that I drink or I will just mix it in with a little bit of orange juice. I will leave a link below as to the kind of diatomaceous earth I use. It's really, really good for cleaning out your system of just toxins and if you maybe have any like, like I had a parasite and that's why I started taking diatomaceous earth and I just noticed like how much better I feel when I take it. So I take diatomaceous earth, uh, pineapple is really, really, really good for decalcifying your pineal gland. Uh, try to avoid fluoride at all costs if you can. We are lucky enough here where we live that they don't actually put fluoride in the water, but we still have like a jug thing that we keep in the fridge full of water. I'll leave that in the description box below too as the which one we use. Um, change your toothpaste. We use a doTERRA brand of toothpaste that's fluoride free. Uh, mouthwash is another big one. You can use the Listerine, I think it's Listerine Naturals. That's a really good one. I'll leave that in the link below. Um, just really, really try to cut down on the fluoride intake that you get in your body. If you go out to restaurants, maybe just take in your own bottle of water instead of getting the restaurant water. Another thing that you really gotta look at too is like your sodas and all that, all those are gonna be filled full of water and there could be fluoride in that water. Same with bottled water. So you really have to check your labels and really kind of do some research on the companies to make sure that you're not intaking extra fluoride because that is what calcifies your pineal gland. So I love to eat pineapple, like I said. I take the diatomaceous earth, try to avoid fluoride, um, try to do cut down on like your caffeine, coffee, tobacco, um, I don't smoke, I don't drink. I do drink coffee. That is a struggle of mine. Um, hopefully one day I'll be able to give that up and when I do, I'll let you guys know. But just really try to be mindful of what you put in your body. Uh, anything processed is really gonna affect your pineal gland. Anything with dyes in it's really gonna affect your pineal gland. You really need to watch out for mercury. Mercury will really help calcify your pineal gland. Another thing too is if you're intaking too much calcium and no magnesium. Um, by intaking calcium, it can really, you know, it calcifies in your body and if you don't have the magnesium in your body, it doesn't direct it to your bones. And so that can also be a huge 
huge burden on your pineal gland. So just try to eat whole and healthy. Try to avoid processed foods and really be mindful about what water consumption you are drinking. You need to drink a lot of water, but you also need to make sure that it's not fluoride water. Um, this is just really it. It's a short, sweet, and to the point video. Just be mindful of what you put in your body. I believe in eating a whole healthy diet. Uh, we really try to eliminate processed foods. Another thing that I've done recently too is I make sure that my deodorants and my husband's deodorants and my kids' deodorants, nothing has aluminum in it because you just don't need those extra uh, chemicals and stuff in your body. Um, really just be mindful, I feel like. And if you're more mindful, I feel like that you're, you're gonna do better at making sure your pineal gland is decalcifying. Um, sunless shine is great for your pineal gland. Just, you know, first thing in the morning, I love it because I drive to work, the sun's coming up, so I have that direct sunlight contact that you need every day for your pineal gland. You can also make sure that you're taking your daily vitamin D supplements if you don't get enough sunlight, but you really, really need to get out there and get some exercise and enjoy the sun and just live and love and be less stressed and enjoy your life. And that's my video for today. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I will see you guys tonight in the next video. I love you. Remember, Faye Bella Jade's faith's beautiful power and protection through faith in yourself and faith in all. You can be all, do all, and have all. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.